So here we're looking at the subdivided result of my recent milk crate demo. And if we were to press Q and go under set origin, we see that this object has been subdivided so finely that trying to use a dot to set the origin is just completely out of the question. While we can set our origin, we're just not gonna get a very good origin from what we're looking at. So for this reason, pressing B will now allow you to set bounds on the object. And from there, you can actually set your origin based off of the keyboard calculation of the shape that you have selected, which can make it a lot easier for setting your origin point for a very heavy object such as the ones that we're showing here. I have another file open as an example. This was a power wash motor from a previous topological study. If I were to select the end piece and we go to set origin, we see that there are so many points on this mesh that setting the origin would be a little bit impossible, but this is where we can press B and just clicking on the bound center for this particular face that it specified, we're able to quickly set its origin. With the next piece, we can go to set origin. We also see that once again, we have too many points to specify. So if we press B, we get something much more simplified. We click on the point, we've specified our origin. We can go to the next object. We see that there's way too many points for us to calculate this. So we press B and we see that it also takes the local rotation into consideration. But by pressing R, we could either specify if we want to specify the rotation or the location or the location and rotation. So just by clicking on the center face, we're able to specify just the location of it while keeping the rotation. So if we go back into this and we press B, we see that we still maintained our rotation because all we did was click on a face dot. You have to click and drag in order to create your directional vector for the rotation to be set. So let's click on set origin here and we see that we're also unable to affect this object if we press B. Just by grabbing that calculated center face dot, we are able to easily set our origin to the center top face of this object. So selecting the final piece, we can press Q, set origin. We see that there's really nowhere we can work with as far as setting our origin. In fact, it gets a little bit slow because of how much geometry is present, but we press B, we get bounds, we go back and we click our prime dot and we're done. And just like that, we can now set origins on very high poly objects, which was part of the goals with set origin. I still consider it fairly early in its infancy, but I hope users are able to find a lot of use out of this latest iteration.